Hello and welcome to my channel, uh, The Healing Butterfly. This is your intuitive reader, Lady Day. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for stopping by, lending me your time, your energy, your curiosity. Don't be afraid to hit that thumbs up and like the video. Don't be afraid to subscribe and stay rocking with the butterfly group, the butterfly family. Um, and of course, only take what resonates from any of my readings. All of my readings are timeless. If you're looking for a personal reading, my information is below. So let's just get right into it. This is, I've been doing a whole lot of twin flame energy readings here lately. Um, I am someone who likes to do a lot of like clarity and how to get your energy right. But there's a lot of like what my person is doing. So whatever spirit gives us. Um, what I will say is that this is just going to be a, a check in. That's what I, I keep feeling. Both parties just want to check in with the other person. So I don't know if you're just wondering if your person is um, spiritually okay, physically okay, mentally okay. I'm also hearing medication. So some of you may know that your person takes medication. Um, so you want to make sure that they have their prescriptions filled. You want to make sure that they're going to their doctors or checking their blood. I just I just felt the 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 thing for diabetes. You just want to know that your person's doing you know doing well. Okay. I also have um, a very strong. Like someone is listening to music that like belts out from their core, you know, like if you ever listen, like a Fantasia, you know, like when she gets in those emotional songs, she'd be belting out and singing to the heavens. It's like, I also feel that going on right now. So someone is you. So if you are getting music songs that haven't come up for you in a while, or you get a song and you think of your person, your person more than likely is probably listening to that song. I'm getting a lot of just, I'm also getting tears. Someone is um, also crying. With that crying, I also heard I, I've gone too far. So again, I think I've been saying this. Some have uh, connect. I'm sorry. Some of you in these divine <laughs> twin flame journeys, one or the other has set themselves apart as far as starting a family with someone. And and and, I, and I'm just hearing no. You know who I am, and I'm not gonna walk away from my child. Again, it's up to you as a person. I'm not here to tell you what to do. That's something you consult with God. But sometimes we make decisions and that doesn't mean that that child should have to falter. No, I would not say that at all. But sometimes it doesn't mean that you need to be with that person. And then there's also, I'm, I'm also hearing another level of sometimes that person pin that baby on you to keep you because you are a good person. Two, 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 as I look at the clock. So we're going to move on from there and um, get, get some cards on the board. So we're first going to start out with just some overall energy. I'm also feeling a lot of strong sexual energy. So someone misses misses the, those late nights early morning moments um with you as well so this is um a message that is from the divine so it's for the divine masculines you have some questions that you have for your divine feminines and that's what this particular so this is coming from the divine uh, feminine's point of view all of these questions but we'll start with some overall energy so overall for the divine feminines to the divine masculines uh, they just want to check in with their partner with the divine master thank you the energy is gaining momentum. The waxing moon. Thank you, spirit. And the bottom of the deck is adjustments are required, right? I just, I don't feel like this is the right time. I feel like something has happened and someone needs to figure that. Yeah, expect powerful change. Show the world the real you have faith in your dreams and believe in the impossible. I think someone is trying to get themselves back aligned for their person. Um, I truly do feel that someone's trying to take in consideration all the things that they've done, all the things that they've said. And then, you know, what's kind of, what's, what's left, you know, I mean? what's left of them as a person to offer to you. Okay. Um, from the divine, thank you, spirit, from the divine feminine's point of view as well. Some of them have to adjust the way that they're looking at you. Thank you, spirit. You see these birds in this card? Some of you, and I'm just, I feel like a large amount of you, your divine feminine is right here. This is either you and, a, and, a, and your new person, someone you wanted to date, friends, whatever took you from your person. Because I'm not here to have those long drawn out. And I'm getting this scenario and that scenario because we'll be here all night. This is the divine feminine and this is you and whoever else or whatever else took you from your person. The energy is gaining momentum. So you are see, and I'm also feeling like you're seeing this person. You've seen how far they've come, how much they've grown. You may have also started to take the steps you need to take away from this, to step away from this person or this thought process, these old religious beliefs, old friends, old lovers, whatever. Because I feel like, th again, this is the divine feminine, this is the divine masculine, and this is the person. I think whatever you did to try to hurry up and get away from that person, they just they just found out. Like, they just see, oh, shit, they're trying to go back to their person. You know what I mean? Something like that. 
And that someone just said it was because you forgave. You either said you forgave that person or oh, I can just forgive and move on with my life. And with that forgiving, it's going to trigger your heart space, divine masculines and the divine feminines. It's giving, it's triggering them to look back and say, well, what the hell is pulling me? And it's triggering you to say, oh my gosh, she's gone so far from me. So let's get some, um, again, I'm getting a lot of sexual energy. So this is a deck that I have printed. Um, it is a sexual tarot. So let's just see what comes out. Um, for uh, from the divine feminine's point of view spirit thank you let's get something saying four cards so there must be one more card one more card please spirit oh shit okay all right i got it that's fine <laughs> the bottom of the deck is the four of pentacles okay and what came out is the chariot The Nine of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. Ooh, didn't I say somebody watching somebody? Mm. The Three of Wands. Mm, wow. And the, uh, the Four of Wands. So I do have a strong feeling that someone does want, again, the chariot card wants to run in. I'm feeling very theatrical as well with that. They want to have this big theatrical uh, comeback, um, something to that nature. I think they have seen that you set out on the town or that you've um, kind of stepped into your single, uh, somebody said single energy. You stepped into your single energy real seamlessly. And that's why they've been watching. They've also been triggered, I feel like, in their heart space as well. Um, the water energy wanting to connect back with you, wanting to draw those emotions back out of you. Um, but I also feel like there's also this um, reflection. This is like a reflective energy to me where somebody was like, oh, but they just jumped in my lap. They, they was ass naked and just jumped in my lap. They was just, they just, they rode my, they rode my dick for whatever. Like I, for some reason, I don't know. <sighs> Calm down. Calm down, feminines. Because somebody just, that's why I think that's why I started tripping over my words. I feel strongly that divine masculine either said to you or you feel like your divine masculine has said, will say, well, that person just fell in my lap. That situation just fell in my lap. I didn't know what to do. And so I just did it. When all along, they're really still wanting to come home. I'm hearing them. Ugh, okay, hold on. <sighs> mm -mm. I feel like the divine masculines are trying to, like, you have to wait for your turn. This is the divine feminine's turn. But they, they want to taste you, okay? They want to taste you. Not my thing. They want to taste you as well, okay? So it is gaining momentum, but I believe it's gaining momentum because you are out here, again, seamlessly just moving on with your life and riding these good fortunes, this good, I'm hearing the good energy. So spirit has definitely been giving you some really good energy. Um, keep your meditations high, keep your affirmations constant, keep your prayers um, consistent as well. Um, because all of this is going on, I feel like your divine masculine is like, now I wanna come back. Let me explain what happened. It just fell in my lap and ba 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 ba. Okay, that's fine. So we'll leave that up there and then we'll get into the questions that spirit would like uh, for me to ask. There goes that Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords. All right, so let's get into the tarot. The actual tarot, not the sexual tarot. But yeah, someone's been watching. Almost like peeking under your skirt, peeking over in your window, but not like literally. Some may be literally, but um, some may just be watching you on. Um, someone just said cut, cut the reel on. So like a movie, so maybe they have videos of you. And I'm hearing that old school uh, movie theater reel. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe they're old pictures. Excuse me, I'm on my um, exercise ball. First question is, what is their current feeling spirit? Shit. Divine feminines are broken hearted. They're very broken hearted. And I'm hearing that this is like, um, I've never paid attention to the fact that this is black coming out of the heart. This is like, you. I think you may have penetrated some really old wounds in your divine feminine, divine masculines. This is beyond the hurt that you gave them. This is like, I can't take this no more. This is like friends, family, coworkers, um, 
I don't know, any type of committee or things that they could be on. Those members, like every time I turn around, someone is stabbing me in my heart. And then here you are and you hit me to my core is what I just heard. You hit me to my core with this shit. Wow. The King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. All right. Uh, current feelings. Chariot. There goes that chariot again. I'm going to ride this motherfucker till the wheels fall off. You don't want to give me what I need, how I need it. You don't want to respect me and love me the way I need to. That's fine. I can get going. That's what I just heard. Not <laughs> Listen. Oh, my gosh. Chariot card. And the nine of pentacles are already out here. Like I said, you moved on with your life. That's fine. Me and my, and my good graces... We we can keep it pushing. Like we can we can keep going. We don't have to keep keep staying around you. Like the hurt that you've done to my heart is just too damn much. Like you really went you went hard on that for what? Let's move on. Um, what did what are the divine feminines not saying, but that they wish to say? Spirit, one card to start. What are the divine feminines not saying? <laughs> Seven of Wands. I don't think you're saying anything. <laughs> it took a while for a card to come out, but I'm going to defend myself, but I'm only going to speak when I need to speak. I'm only going to take action when I need to take action. You see, like she's not bending over to get to those wands, but if they reach them themselves up to her, she's going to whack the shit out of everybody. You get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to guard and protect myself, but I, don't, I just feel like there's not. Let's get another, let's try to get another card here. Thank you, spirit. Queen of wands. Again, sitting on her throne. I feel like I can sit on my throne or I will I will let this damn hair bonnet down and defend my motherfucking castle. That's what I just heard. I could be real cute, real sexy, sit on this throne, hear you out. Again, she got her wand on go mobile. When she's sitting in that, what's, what seems to be pushing forward for me is that sunflower. I'm going to give you that grace. I'm going to give you that understanding. I'm going to give you that opportunity. But know that I will turn this bitch sideways so if you want to talk we can talk i'm not defensive with you ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck come on and bring it come on and bring it what abundance are we talking about temperance nine ten of wands five of cups and then the and then the contract card your person yeah the divine masculines i feel like are showing up again wanting to offer you something but just feeling like everything that they've done is just too burdensome and now they're in the five of cups energy but getting back to the divine feminines because that's really what we're talking about they will at all at all costs stand their ground. I'm hearing I ain't no punk. I'm hearing there's a couple other words, but I'm gonna keep on the cussing going on. I'm not no punk. I'm not, I, I I loved you and I was vulnerable for you and I was open to you and I and I and I allowed you that space and you took it for granted. So yeah, you're getting ready to see the person that most people probably tell you about when they talk about me. She can be a bitch and she can be rough and she can be, she be ready to slap the hell out you. Yeah, I wasn't ready to slap the hell out you or that person until they did me like this. So that's what, that's what they're not saying. Um, what is the divine feminine's wishes for this connection? Ooh. King, some truth and honesty. I'm hearing whether you come back or you, uh, 1333, three, three. whether you come back or you go away, I just want some truth and clarity and honesty. Two of Wands. You had me waiting for how fucking long? And that some of you are waiting for a, a response to your text messages. Thank you. Because, I am I mean, I literally am looking at my, like, I feel like people are, like, looking like, like this. he really didn't say shit back? Or, you know what I mean? He Again, we're talking about energy. Divine, feminine, and masculine. I know there are same-sex relationships. You're either the feminine energy or they're masculine energy. Take what resonates. Because um, someone just said, I'm not even a whatever, whatever. But anyways... Let's get another one. Wishes for this connection spirit. They want truth. They want clarity. They want the sun. They want the truth and clarity to come out so that there's no more shadow sides. No more shadows. And I'm hearing back alley. Quick. Okay, so when I say, when I say me, my, me as a person, when I say back alley, I mean that you're trying to get a quick exit. How can I cut through the bullshit and just get to... No, they don't want no more back alley. No more, you know, ghosting. No more, you know, not expressing yourself. I want truth. I want clarity because I want the sun. I want the sun with you. I want my wish fulfillment with you. I want a family and a life. And I want to have all those great times that we had again. 
I want to birth something new with you into this world. Oh, shit. Ten of Cups. What did I say? Your person still wants this. The Divine Feminine still wants this. But I got to be honest, I, 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 they're, at a, they're, at a, they're at a two of swords, four of cups, because it's like, well, what's the fucking point? Because this person's probably going to keep treating me like they did, so I'm going to sit with my nine of cups and be real cute. Real cute. Getting my money. Doing what I do. But what do they what do they wish for? They wish for truth and clarity, and they wish for the sun to come shine itself again on this union. And um, what to expect from this union with your divine from the divine feminines what to okay eight of wands so if you do okay thank you because they're saying only if you communicate like as soon as this card flip over to myself only if they communicate like somebody didn't even get a chance for me to like my throat anyways eight of wands if you communicate with to them they will then communicate with you if you would like to have a conversation they are willing to have a conversation um two of cups right they're going to meet you halfway. If you want to have that conversation, let's have that conversation. You want to express yourself? Express yourself. Let's do that. Um, one more card. Eight of Wands. What to expect? Oh, shoot. Three. Six of Pentacles. Wow. Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck again. Six of Pentacles equal give and take. Right. Like I said, I'm going to meet you there. I'm going to give you the energy you give me. You know what I'm saying? You reach out. It's, it's almost like... Thank you, Spirit. I'm seeing this like you're the divine masculine is sending, hey, come see me. Can we get together? Can we talk? And they're like, all right, I'll meet you there. Send, send. It's like almost like these are the GPS directions or some shit that I'm seeing in my head. But I'm going to give you the equal give and take. What you give me, I'm going to give back. So there's that, ladies and gents. Let's go ahead and get into... Um, I just want to get a couple of the love oracles out and then we'll close out this. Oh, yes. OK, thank you. Spirit says you don't close out without letting us give them some uh, some some energy, some messages. So I have to pull one of the thank you, Spirit. It's right here. OK, angel guidance. All right. <laughs> you need your angel guidance. That is I, I know, Spirit. I'm sorry, y'all. My readers know Spirit will pull you to the side real quick. Like, can I talk to you for a minute? Come right into your classroom, pull you out like the principal. Excuse me. Can I talk to you for a minute? Let me come on around this corner. So um, I never like to end my readings without some direct messages, you know, of affirmations, of prayers, of protection from spirit. You know, it's, it's always good to get some background information, but you really should be connecting to God and your spirit guides um, so that they can really direct you. Everyone's situation is different. Even you and three of your friends don't have the exact same situation when it comes to this, this twin flame journey. Okay, so let's go for the first lane. Um, just one card on each spirit. Thank you. So three of swords. The chariot is the self-indulgence card. Um, focus out. Self-worth. Self-love. Uh, time to heal. Shadow work and self-appreciation. Exactly. All of those things that have triggered you to walk away from this situation. You're now saying, you know what? I was a good person and I was patient and I was kind and I was these things. Okay, seven of wands, queen of wands, one card, please. Okay, or more. Yeah. So we have, go back where you came from. We have a heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one. Opening up, getting together, passion, insane chemistry, liking each other, having fun. And then soulmates, soul connection, partnership, soul contract. So again, I do believe that your divine feminine clearly knows that this is something that still, still, still triggers them. But they're not going to not fight for themselves. I'm sorry. There was a point in time where they would allow you to say and do some things because they wanted to get this union together because they knew what it meant beyond just, you know, physical 3D, but like the contract, the soul contract. But bottom of the deck is mirror. But I got to be honest, they're going to defend themselves if you're not coming with that key, with that equal give and take. So King of Swords and the Sun. Okay. I'm going to take this one because it flew out like that. But I'm going to put one more. King, thank you. Okay. The first one out. Exactly. Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship. Again, that King of Swords not getting that truth and clarity. Not someone not expressing how they feel for someone. So someone feeling like they're not enough. They're frustrated in a relationship with you because they feel like no matter what, like I'm I'm not enough for you. Like that's how I feel. You 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 I'm not pretty enough. I'm not this enough. I'm not that enough because you no matter what, you always find fault. You always find something wrong with me. 
even though I like you, I know you like me, but you make me feel like I'm not enough for you to actually submit to. Thank you, spirit. <sighs> Bottom of the deck is Cupid's arrow, right? But I know that you got shot. By Cupid, you know I got shot by Cupid. Why are we playing these games? Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Spirit. One card, please. Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Spirit. One card. Thank you. Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure issues. So, again, like I said, for, boat. Movement. Yes. Contacting, reaching out, something like that. Paradise is at the bottom of the deck. I want one more card here, Spirit. Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Thank you. Wow, it came out again. Cupid's arrow. Why? Because you've been struck. It's your person. Bottom of the deck is the butter. Oh, shit. And we're ending on the butterfly, which is what? This channel, what this channel is all about. You know, evolving to the next phase. That's why you you feel like you're in a cocoon or you need to be in a cocoon because there's a next phase coming for you. There's It's time for you to, to, to grow your wings and spread your wings. I'm sorry. Divine feminists feel like it's time for me to spread my wings while he, the divine masculine, goes and grows his wings. Okay. Well, excuse me, sis. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I got my wings. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay, sis. Here you got to holler. Um... But yes, this this I do believe it is going to evolve. It is going to evolve to another level. Um, I do think that there's a lot that's going on with with the divine um, feminines as far as them just you know wanting to protect their peace, wanting to protect their mind, wanting to protect their spirit. They're not going to allow anyone anywhere to take them to this three of swords energy again. That can't happen because I, I I I feel very strongly like spirit is like no 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 we're not no 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 no. Nope, because we'll have a whole lot of bail bondsmen in business. Yes, we will. I don't know why I was taking like an old uh, rat pack. It's like, I, I don't know. What is that? I, I don't know. Anyways, moving forward. Um, one card, divine feminines. Two, what would they like to say to their divine masculines from their spirit gods? Like, what are the spirit gods saying that divine masculines are sending energetically in a positive spirit? <laughs> Because <laughs> somebody's like, oh, they're sending them some shit, but not nothing that's probably in this deck. But no, healing energy from the divine feminines to the divine masculines. Okay, that's what it was, spirit. That was the word. The key word was healing energy. And I think I missed something. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a lot now. Okay. Oh, shit. What did I say? Law of attraction is at the bottom of the deck. Cupid's arrow, uh, law of attraction. Uh, yeah. We have family. We have ask. What did I say? Keep your prayers high. And we have fresh air. Okay. So, this situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member, which can help you to understand and heal your mind and heart. Surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. Also, thank you. Spirit is saying, look at this family. This family is obviously more than likely not all of one bloodline. Make 2333 when I looked up. Make sure, divine, because again, this is from the divine feminines to the divine masculines. Make sure that when you're looking at your family, you're looking at those who give you peace and support. And look at all that love, unconditional love and understanding. Don't look towards those who you are blood with because that's where you go wrong. There might be someone in your actual blood family who is not for your good. Leave that there. Ask. Ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. Thank you for stopping me. From the divine feminines to the divine masculines. If you don't believe me, is what I'm, this is what your divine feminine is saying. If you don't believe me that I can help you, that I can pray for you, that I will pray for you and with you, with you and for you. Go to the, the, to the higher source that you believe. They'll be there. I know they will be there. I've already checked with them. They'll be there. We've governed, we're governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we wait patiently for your requests. A lot, I've been saying this and saying this, free will is a thing. 
So until you have submitted to the situation or you've allowed the situation or any, your free will is keeping you from even praying. I hope it's not your family keeping you from praying, your friends keeping you from praying. That's from your divine feminines. And last is fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. So your divine feminine feels your divine feminine feels stifled. But I think that they believe they feel stifled because you haven't been out. You might have been to work. You might have hung out with the homies once or twice. But the primarily, like you're either encapsulated in your emotions, even when you're around people, or you're keeping yourself like at home with the lights out and just the TV on. They can feel that. They want you to open up. Get some fresh air. Um, I'm also hearing, okay, so the divine maskins might have popped your pimples. Ugh, I mean, whatever. Popped your pimples, dug in your nose, cleaned your ears, things like that. That's another thing that the divine feminines are like, oh, I hope he's doing this and I hope he's doing that as well. Um, so get your exercise, get your fresh air, open some windows, you know, things like that. Spend time outside as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is also saying you going outside and getting in Mother Nature's cradle. Some of you may need some um, uh, feminine healing energy, motherly, matriarchal healing energy. And um, you don't go to your divine feminine for uh, motherly healing. You get what I'm saying? Um, not in that sense. Not that they are your mother and then you turn into a child. You get what I'm saying? Go to the Divine Mother. Go to a park and just say, I just I just want to feel like a newborn baby being held by, by, you know, by my mom, God. Can you give me that feeling? No one said that you had to have this long, drawn out, and Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael, which are my guides as well. You don't need to have this big, proclaimed, stop making it bigger than it needs to be. Someone said, open your curtains. Didn't I say that? Open your windows. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. So that's what I have for the Divine Masculines. That's from your Divine Feminine. I hope that they gave you some insight and some clarity. Um, thank you again for stopping by. Please like the videos. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up. You know you want to. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You know there's a seat right here waiting for you. Um, so thank y'all all so much. I send y'all so much love from me to you. Peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise to you and your loved ones. 2727 was just on the clock. Namaste.